like to ask Mr. Daniel Andrews to give the valedictory address. Chancellor Wiener, Vice Chairwoman Martin, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Calderisi, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends, I am pleased to address you today on behalf of the graduating students of Concordia University's Faculty of Arts and Science. I am truly honored to stand before you, graduates from one of the finest universities in the country. Congratulations for your achievement, and I thank you for the opportunity to speak. When I was asked to deliver this address, I approached it with one theme in mind, to share with you the most important lessons I've learned as a student in Concordia's largest and most dynamic faculty that I feel apply to all of us. My road through university has been a long one. I started in economics, moved to engineering, and I am graduating with a physics degree. <laughs> Over the years, I learned the science, math, and all that. And all that forms the basis of a successful life in any field. But the most important lessons I've learned at Concordia have little to do with technical knowledge and more to do with self-discovery. The fact that you are all sitting here as graduates is a testament to the work you've done to develop your minds discover yourselves, and build a solid foundation for your future. You've proven to the world that you can think deeply, and you've proven to yourself that you have it in you to work for years towards an impressive goal and achieve it. We, university graduates, are so much more than trained instruments of progress. We embody a worldview that is essential, not just to the advancement of knowledge, but to a life well lived. This fills us with responsibility and puts us in the best position to change our lives for the better. At the same time, there is nothing telling you where to look, what to do next, or how to live. Only your values and your unique experience and knowledge will guide you in that direction. Chacun d'entre vous est capable de réaliser vos propres aspirations. Mais encore plus important, vous êtes tous capables de déterminer pour vous-même à quoi vous aspirez. If there is one thing I would tell my younger self upon starting university, it would be this. Develop your knowledge and mind as much as you can, but make them serve your emotional intuition above all else. Our university education has given us technical skills and an analytical way of thinking. But without emotion and the pursuit of authenticity, this way of thinking runs aground. My wandering between degree programs led me to the conclusion that there are no ultimate answers when it comes to choosing how and where to apply ourselves. Our analysis of the world, of others, and of ourselves is doomed to be incomplete. As graduates, we are best equipped to articulate how we feel and what we think. It is our responsibility to act in ways that resonate most deeply within us and to use our knowledge for the betterment of all. It is up to you to write your own story. No one can tell you what to be, and no one can tell you what to think. What you create with the knowledge you carry forward is for you to decide and for you to feel. Today marks a new beginning. You have opportunity, you have choice, and you are capable. At this point in our life where anything is possible, I leave you with the core message. As university graduates and as people, our sole responsibility is to work relentlessly in the pursuit of authenticity, personal, and scientific truth. Your education puts you in the best position to do this. Use your unique way of thinking to seek out the place where your emotional intuition and rational mind align. Be confident in your ability to think and have the courage to trust deeply in yourself. Everything else will follow. Thank you very much.
Daniel, thank you for your remarks. You were inspirational and a man who understands looking for his passion and finding it. So I congratulate you and to all of you, I hope you find your passions too.